Bye, guys! This is Daryl Joyce Arboreda. For this video, I will discuss two topics. First is the spill drill outside the biological safety cabinet and the second one is the proper waste segregation. So, let's start! Alert everyone in the area. Duff TPE Leave the laboratory area for at least 30 minutes. Inform the laboratory manager and biosafety officer. Place a sign on the door indicating that there is a spill. Don't appropriate PPE and re-enter the area with your spill kit. Always go as pairs. Place absorbent material on the spill. Cover the whole area. Pour appropriate disinfectant concentrically starting from the outer part to the center. Observe appropriate contact time. Pick up the absorbent material using tongs and place inside a biohazard bag. If there are sharps, pick up using tongs and place in sharps container. Perform another round of cleaning until the whole area has been cleaned and dried. Put the discard bag to the another discard bag or what we call double bagging. Duff, use PPE and put discard bag into another discard bag. Put reusable materials in different container bag. Decontaminate waste in autoclave. Remove the signage and prepare a report. And the second one is the proper waste segregation. Segregation is the key to an effective waste management. Without an effective segregation system, the complete waste stream must be considered as hazardous. We have eight categories of healthcare waste, the general, pharmaceutical, genotoxic, pathological, infectious, sharps, chemical and heavy metals, and radioactive waste. There are some points we need to consider in proper waste segregation. First is the hazard level. Is it infectious or non-infectious? The second one is the waste type. Is it solid, sharp, liquid, or mix? The third one is the container type and size. Ensures access to appropriate containers for each type of waste. And lastly, the color coding. Quick visuals indications of risk associated with waste. So, here is the color coding scheme provided by the DOH Healthcare Waste 3rd Edition in the year 2011. For the black color, the type of container is trash bin or plastic bags. The type of waste is non-infectious dry waste. For the green color, the type of container is trash bin or plastic bag. And the type of waste is non-infectious wet waste. For the yellow color, the type of container is plastic bag. The type of waste is infectious pathologic waste. For the red color, the type of container is puncture proof container. And the types of waste is sharps. Then, the orange color, the type of container is containers. The type of waste is radioactive waste. 
in dealing with segregation error, the staff should never attempt to correct error or segregation by removing items from a bag or container after disposal or by placing one bag inside another bag of different color. And always remember the rule of thumb. If general and hazardous waste are accidentally mixed, the waste should always be treated as hazardous waste. So, that's the end of my video and I hope you learned something. Stay biosafe everyone!